welcome back to the show. You might have heard radio personality Sheldon Sharpless playing his classic country favorites over the airwaves of WPHB in Phillipsburg. Jed Donahue sat down with this local celebrity. On WPHB Radio, 21 minutes past 9 o'clock here in the morning with Sheldon. Radio on-air personalities are rarely seen, but their voice can become the soundtrack of your community. Sheldon Sharpless started his journey at WPHB Radio in Phillipsburg in 1960 and is still going strong 50 years later. Sharpless said it was his brother Dean, an engineer with WPHB in 1959, who helped him get into the radio business. Sharpless is a throwback to the radio days when you actually played records, not CDs or music that plays from a computer. And he still plays vinyl records during a show to this day and loves the authentic sound that comes with vinyl. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. A lady down Carthage told me one time, I know if I hear the scratching on there that you're playing the vinyl, vinyl record. <laughs> but, but they know that it's wonderful. It's wonderful. We asked Sharpless how he has adapted to new formats in the radio business over the years. These new, new stuff that uh, they come out with now, the new CDs, I'm used to playing the old vinyls, the old 78s, 33s, 3rd, 45s, but I love, I love this new setup. <laughs> but you know, you go to come back here to try to find a record, it's something else. Sharpless says there are many keys to his longevity. I love country music, first of all. Love country music. And uh, born and raised in country music, and I love it, I guess. And I, and I like people. You know, I like dealing with people. And I, I don't know, I just, um, I just enjoy doing what you're doing. Not one morning do I ever get up regretting to come to work. Not one time. Gina March grew up in Phillipsburg listening to Sharpless, knowing his incredible impact on the community. March now works at WPHB with Sharpless and has a new appreciation for him and his impact on the community. I tell you, he is the heritage of uh, Phillipsburg and, and what he means to the community. And uh, it, it's really an honor and a privilege to work alongside Sheldon. And I'll tell you, the mornings are so busy from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. during his show. It is just really phenomenal. The amount of phone calls that come in, the amount of people that walk in to say hello, the goodies that people bring. I, I'll tell you, I've eaten very well since working with Sheldon. We told you earlier about Sharpless and his love of country music. One of the biggest moments of his career revolved around one of the biggest legends ever in country music. Probably, hello darling, Conway Twitty. And the auditorium gets this, a seat says. Auditorium seats uh, 800 people. We had 1,500 in each show, two shows. 1,500 in each show. He said, what's the fire marshal going to say? Well, we are the fire marshal. This is the fire department raising the money, you know. And so it was great. And Conway did a great show. And once long after that, of course, Mickey Gilly, Johnny Lee, we had them all here. And uh, all the money we put in the community. The radio station made nothing off of that. It was all for charity. And it was a great, great time doing that, too. In the hospital, we raised money for the hospital. And uh, they did a great job. Sharpless has been with the Sandy Ridge Fire Company for 60 years now, getting his basic fire training in the Navy in the Great Lakes and the Philadelphia Naval Yard. Laura Mack, a previous owner, referred to Sharpless as the Joe Paterno of the Moshannon Valley. Sharpless says he just has a kinship with his listeners. Now the people of the Moshannon Valley, I, I love them. I love them dearly, and it isn't anything we wouldn't do. They bring apple pies to us, they bring, and they know I love peanut butter pie. Because you can tell by the size of me, I didn't miss too many pies. And of course, uh, they have uh, they had uh, uh, peanut butter cookies and Christmas time now. They're they're so gracious and and we kind of enjoy it. When you make new friends every day, Sharpless has a tough time thinking about doing anything else. Nope, nope, nope. Can't see. As long as I can get off hunting, I love to hunt. That's second best hunting. I used to run the ambulance for 25 years. I did that, and uh, I love helping the people in the ambulance. You learn a lot doing that. Uh, but the biggest thing was radio in my life. And enjoy it. My sons were in the radio, and of course they said, Dad, we get out of this radio. We're getting out of here. We're going, we're going to get a real job. <laughs> For the center of it all, I'm Jed Donahue. Thanks, Jed. When we come back, we'll profile the incredible efforts of the State College Food Bank. And our friends at the Electric Playground will review some of the must-have games and gadgets for this gift-giving season.